from Tantara. Now, this is a, the, the strangest piece in that you have this intensely dark blue included in the quartz crystals, which I suspect would be a uh, shadow cut. And then you have this pale blue sitting around the outside, also in a, in a crystal formation. So perhaps we're looking at chatukite with planchiate or, or maybe even some bisbeite associated here. The matrix, the crust on the outside, this is almost as if it came from a geode material. So the crust is a solid quartz and then sitting as we pop open the crust we find these intensely dark blue crystals and then of course the, the, the tiny, tiny sprays of, of baby blue uh, needles sitting around the edges. So I'd imagine that what's included in this quartz is different to what's sitting on the outside or we don't know. Uh, intensely dark blue. Um, when I talk of poor man's papagoa, this is definitely a very good example. This is as blue as you as blue can get. I think uh, there's a site in in Brazil uh, or Mexico, is it, where uh, we have the 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 Chateaucite included quartzes. I think this compares very very favorably with some of the better pieces I've seen from that deposit. Little bit of contact uh, on the side there. Nothing too obtrusive. Uh, the quartz crystal. Uh, facing up, there, there we'd have the one going across like that, and then uh, going around like this. Okay, the crystals are facing downwards, so they, uh, the point, of, the logical point of display would be this, where you have the quartz crystal pointing up, the the, the biggest quartz crystal that is, <clears throat> all the way from uh, Tantara in the Katanga.